Well, I guess, I guess what, what I was trying to get across, that this whole uh, notion of North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, um, separated by this belt of nothingness that is the Sahara, is, is, it's a fabricated concept because the Sahara has traditionally been a space of cultural exchange, of trade, of, of all sorts of exchange. And the tribes that connected the North and the South are part of that divide. I mean, like, we're all really part of that divide. And, and like, this divide is, 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 is so coming from the outside, but in many ways we have integrated it ourselves. So each one of the countries of the North does have a black population. So what exactly is that North and South divide? Is it cultural? Is it language? Is it religion? Is it color? And if you really try and examine and research the content of that, you realize that none of it holds. Because in terms of language, um, Chad, is Arabic speaking? Does that belong to North or South then? Um, what about uh, uh, Senegal, if it's religion? Why is it not part of the North? So all these, if you really examine these divisions, they don't hold. The founding fathers of independence on the continent had a blueprint for this vision of unity because they realized that this divide and rule system was the Achilles heel of the continent. So the blueprint of Pan-Africanism, uh, Pan um, okay, Pan-Africanism didn't necessarily go very far, but the ideas it contained, the vision it had, the necessities it saw economically, culturally, and politically are still issues of today. And a place like Forum is engaging with them, and I think that's really important.